Hey everyone, this video we're just going to be doing an unboxing or a quick look. Now I have actually already opened this box just to check it was what I thought it was. But I haven't looked through the books yet. And I've actually ordered a couple of books but we're just looking at one quickly on the video. So you might be able to see a few of the others below it but this is the one that we're going to be looking at today. So this is Mythical Beasts, an artist field guide to designing fantasy creatures. And let me move this box out of the way so that I can get this in shot properly. So this is by the company 3D Turtle, I think they're called. Um, they have quite a lot of art books, so a lot of you guys will have already seen a lot of them. And this is a thick book. And I've been looking at this book for quite a while now online, meaning to get it. I'm not too sure what to expect, so I'm just going to flip through a few pages for you guys, let you have a look as well. From my understanding, it's taken quite a few different artists and it's their, well, it's their take on designing certain creatures. I'm not sure if it's well-known mythical creatures or if it's designing their own. So there are some of the artists and the monsters or beasts that they're creating in the book. I'm not going to look too much at this in detail because I tried to keep these videos down to just a few minutes. So it's got some pretty cool features showing you where the beasts would be. And for me personally, I really love sketches, probably more than final designs. So I find it really interesting to see the whole design process, the different options, things like that. Plus, let's be honest, anything with fantasy creatures on dragons and things like that is always awesome. And a lot of this book you could probably preview on Amazon as well. So as I'm skipping through these pages, I'll probably skip a few at a time because as I always say in these videos, I don't want to give too much away. It's not fair on the artists or the publishers or anything like that. But I quite often look at books and book reviews and things like that on YouTube myself before I buy them. So this might just help a few people make up their mind, see what kind of creatures are in it, see a little bit of the design process. You can see it does have a lot of information regarding text as well. I do like that. Obviously... As an artist, I prefer images, but, but I'm not as big a fan of art books that are all images with no text at all. And these are some really cool designs. Different thumbnails. To be honest, their thumbnails and sketches are a, a lot neater than my final designs. And I saw this book quite a while ago in a bookshop called Waterstones here in the UK. And I think it was about £30, which is quite expensive for a book, but you can see why it is a really thick book. It looks like it'll have some good information on it, or in it, I should say. But on Amazon, I looked and it was £10 cheaper, so it was £20 on Amazon. And I'm flicking through this probably a little bit too slow, so I'm going to start taking bigger chunks of pages at a time. Personally, I prefer books like this that show the thought process along the way as opposed to you know complete step by step draw a circle draw another circle here you know basic books like that because I, f I don't find that I can learn anything from them other than how to draw that exact image so I like understanding people's thinking behind it which I hope will help me come up with cool designs eventually but more than that I just find books like this quite inspiring and quite it kind of makes me want to draw you know when you don't know what to draw which is sometimes the hardest thing. Um, things like this, just a quick flick through, might just spark something, make you think of something cool you can draw, doodle, just get the workflow going. Anyway, this video has probably already been way longer than most people will be awake for. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And you might have seen in that box at the beginning, I have a few other how to draw fantasy type books. So I might make a quick video on those as well, just for anyone who's interested. Please let me know if you do enjoy this kind of video or if you prefer just full on tutorials. But yeah, I hope you found the video useful or maybe found some inspiration from something you've seen on screen. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think or what books you guys have picked up recently that are worthwhile getting. And as always, please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Thanks everyone.